Hello dear students, in this session we are going to derive an expression for impedance and phase angle when an alternating voltage is applied to a series LCR circuit. This particular derivation is very very important derivation for public examination. So here we are going to use phase R diagram method. In the question they will ask phase R using phase R diagram method. Here I have directly written the diagram but first we have to learn how to draw the diagram properly because usually uh, students will face difficulty in drawing the diagram itself. I will explain. Okay. Say this is x axis and this is y axis. Say this is the phase or of current. This is the phase or of current. Okay. Uh, we know that in the case of pure inductive circuit, the uh, voltage across the inductor voltage across the inductor leads current by pi by 2 means you have to draw a voltage phasor of inductor okay vl okay or voltage across inductor leads current by pi by 2 means this should be ahead of current by pi by 2 so here i you should write vl okay then as far as voltage across capacitor is concerned concerned. In the case of pure capacitive circuit we have seen that current leads voltage. So, A i should be ahead, V should be V c voltage should be behind. Okay. Now, now we will consider that V c is greater than V l for simplicity. We will consider that V c is greater than V l. So, when you add these two what happens the resultant will come here. What is length of this? Length of this is V c minus V l. Okay, and in the case of pure resistive circuit, there is no phase difference between there is no phase difference between voltage and current. So this is the voltage. Okay, now using parallelogram law of uh, vector addition, what you can do? Okay, this will be the resultant voltage. This will be the resultant voltage. Okay, say so the applied alternating voltage is V is equal to or V is equal to V n. Vm sin omega t. Okay, say this phase is omega t. The phase difference between voltage and current. The phase difference between voltage and current is phi. Because you see, in pure resistive circuit, pure capacitive circuit, and pure inductive circuit, we have calculated the phase difference. In capacitive and inductive, the phase difference was pi by two. In resistive resistive circuit, phase difference is zero. Now there are three components, L, C, R together. Okay, when we apply AC, what will be the phase difference? that we have to calculate now. So therefore, phase difference between voltage and current, okay, phase difference between resultant voltage and current, okay, let it be phi, okay. Now this uh, I should have written Vr because voltage drop across resistor is in uh, the phase difference between that voltage and the current is equal to zero, okay. Now this is the resultant voltage phase difference between the resultant voltage and current is phi. So, this is how you have to draw the diagram. Okay. First, what you are doing? First, you draw phasor of current. Okay. Then you write phasor of voltage across inductor. Okay. In the case of inductive circuit, voltage leads current. That is why you write VL here. In the case of capacitive circuit, voltage lacks current or current leads in the case of capacitor. That is why you write voltage here. Okay, voltage you go by 90 degree then you get current you go by 90 degree then you get voltage okay now uh, coming back to the derivation see the same diagram I have written it here this point uh, I have named it as O this is A this is B this is C okay so here I have got a right angle triangle what is that right angle triangle OCB is a right angle triangle so I have got a right angle triangle OCB. In that right angle triangle, OB is the hypotenuse. Okay. So I can write OB square. Okay. OB square. This square equal to OC square plus BC square. OC square plus BC square. OC square plus BC square. Now what is OB? OB equal to maximum value of V. Maximum value of V is Vm. So Vm square is equal to OC, OC means VR, maximum value of VR means length of the phasor will give you maximum value. Okay. 
maximum value of vr is vrm vrm whole square plus bc what is what is bc see bc is equal to oa oa equal to bc correct now what is oa vc minus vl okay vcm minus vlm whole square okay now what happens vm square is equal to vr v is equal to ir correct now but we should get maximum value of uh, voltage so maximum value of current into r will be equal to maximum value of voltage v equal to i into r whole square plus voltage across capacitor is equal to current into capacitive reactance current into capacitive reactance minus voltage across inductor is equal to current into inductive reactance current into inductive reactance whole square now what can be done now i can take this im uh, common im square common what happens vm square will be equal to vm square will be equal to im square into okay im square into r square plus r square plus xc minus xl xc minus xl whole square or i can write this equation as im square im square is equal to vm square okay vm square divided by r square plus xc minus xl whole square xc minus xl whole square or taking square root i can write im maximum value of current im is equal to vm divided by square root of vm divided by square root of r square plus xc minus xl xc minus xl whole square now you see this equation okay this equation is in the form of i is equal to v by r or im is equal to vm divided by z what is z there z is the effective opposition total opposition offered to the current by a L lcr circuit so this uh, term z we call it as impedance so therefore impedance of series lcr circuit is given by z is equal to z is equal to r square plus xc minus xl whole square so now what we have done we have calculated we have calculated impedance of series lcr circuit now we have to calculate phase angle how to calculate phase angle again we'll come back to the same uh, uh, rectangle triangle using rectangle triangle okay ocb ocb now what you do here you define tan phi okay what is tan phi tan phi is equal to opposite side by adjacent side bc by oc okay bc divided by oc okay bc divided by oc so that is equal to that is equal to what is bc bc is bc equal to oa what is oa oa equal to vc minus vl or vcm minus vlm divided by what is oc oc means vr vrm oc means vrm we have already uh, used here okay now that is equal to that is equal to or tan phi is equal to tan phi is equal to vcm means what im into xc minus vlm means what im into xl okay divided by vrm means what vrm means what i into r im into r so what can be done i can take this im common in the numerator so that im im gets cancelled okay so i will get tan phi tan phi is equal to xc okay xc minus xl divided by r tan phi equal to xc minus xl divided by r or uh, that implies phi is equal to phi is equal to tan inverse of phi is equal to tan inverse of xc minus xl divided by r so this is the final equation so i have written it little small there please uh, adjust okay so here this is the expression for impedance z is equal to r square square root of r square plus xc minus xl whole square so this is the equation for phase angle phase angle phi is equal to tan inverse of xc minus xl divided by r so this is the most important question for phi max for second pu public examination thank you very much